The Bahamas is unlike any place we have ever explored before. It is magical. We got to live out our wildest dreams here by diving in a magical cave filled with hundreds of colorful fish and seeing the famous swimming pigs, which was Jacob's personal favorite. And lastly, we got to swim with tons and I mean tons of sharks. Now let's buckle up and get started. It is quite the windy day out here. It's a little bit chilly, but that's okay. We're gonna go and get on a boat and we're gonna go to a bunch of different snorkeling places. And we're gonna do the famous swimming with pigs and I think some sharks. So it's gonna be a really, really, really fun day. We are on the north end of the main island in Exuma. I believe we are going to travel 60 miles north and 60 miles back on our entire journey. It is so chilly today. We've got our first stop here in Guana Beach. Walking up onto the beach. Let's see if we can find some iguanas. We spotted our first iguana. What's up, buddy? <laughs> so it's early in the morning and he's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I did not expect that iguana to like jump up when I had my crackers. So I was like, oh shoot, I fed. Uh, caimans and it was less scary than that. The way that this trip is set up is that we are going to do the less exciting things first and then at the end we're going to swim with sharks and so we are so excited. If you think what we're doing is boring maybe just uh, wait 30 seconds or a minute and we'll probably do something much more exciting. Jacob's gonna try feeding an iguana. I wonder if it'll hop up like it hopped up on me. Oh you gotta lift it up babe. Honestly, the iguanas are cool, but I'm more about this like perfectly white sand beach and the beautiful water behind us. This whole pack is following Jacob. I'm trying to feed the little one. Aww. Ah. Ah. They just keep climbing out of the rocks. Ah. That was the closest we've gotten. Their mouths are a lot scarier than I look, they swear. <laughs> I never know when to pull away my hand because I don't know if they're just gonna snap at me and I get my finger. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's weird. Faith Hill and Tim McGraw used to own this house out here in the Bahamas. This island is owned by David Copperfield. This is David Copperfield's other island. It is really rough and windy out here today, so we're just holding on. We just got to Staniel K, and there's a plane crash that you can snorkel with. You can see the plane all right here. This plane took off from the airport back on the island, and it only made it this far, but the people survived, so that's good. There Jacob is. <laughs> I decided to stay on the boat. Was it? Cold. <laughs> now we are gonna snorkel into this cave right here. This is where one of the scenes from James Bond was filmed.
honestly one of the coolest things we have ever done. I did not expect it to be that cool. Yeah, I just knew we were going to a cave and then to see that many fish and so up close. It was like a cenote in Mexico. It was so cool. It felt like we were in our own little secret world. I see the pigs. These pigs are seriously massive. Oh my gosh, hello! <laughs> These are the famous swimming pigs. You've probably heard about them. You see them everywhere. Here they are. Nice little stingray right there. These pigs are way bigger than I thought they were gonna be. They don't have anything, buddy. <laughs> Huge! They're so tall. <laughs> they're like running up to us and they're like, Kind of a little scary. <laughs> Hello. Hi. This one just tried to eat our camera. You should feed him. Okay. Ready? Oh, no. <laughs> come on, Jenny. Come on, come on. <laughs> It's actually a little bit scary when they come running up to you because they're so massive. I'm sure they wouldn't actually do anything to hurt you, but it's just a little bit scary. Hi, little guy. <laughs> oh, wow. This one can't fit in there. I'm the only one here feeding the pig. This is a great time. Jacob accomplished his dream of swimming with the pigs. That was one of the coolest things I've ever done. I got to feed it right up and close. It's so weird, like watching their hooves underwater, like it's just not normal to see that large of an animal that's not supposed to be in the water, be in the water swimming. Yeah, I heard some of them are like 400 pounds or more. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm just so excited that like I accomplished what I was trying to go swimming with them. That was it was so fun. I still can't get over the pigs, but we're already at this place where we get to swim with sharks. I'm not really scared of these sharks. They're nurse sharks. They're still pretty big, but after swimming with hammerheads, I don't know if anything will really make me nervous again. By the way, this is the famous Compass K. If you've seen people swimming with tons of sharks, it was probably here. And uh, you have to pay a $15 fee to get here because it's a private spot. The rest of them have been public, but this is private. They're actually a lot bigger than I thought they were gonna be. Oh my goodness. Sheesh.
those sharks were so much bigger than I thought they were going to be. Yeah, when Jenny told me they're just little sharks, don't be nervous, so I was like, okay. But then I got in the water, I'm like, oh wow, these are big. We are just hanging out on this beautiful sandbar. Literally, I think we're just in the middle of the ocean. I don't even know where we are right now. But I want to say something that I forgot to say earlier in the video, and that is that the water here in the Bahamas is, I think, the clearest we have ever seen, ever. It is like insane. You can see everything perfectly clearly. It's even clearer than French Polynesia's water. Got a good lunch included with our boat ride for the day. And the best part is the view right now. It's so incredible, I cannot believe we're here. So 